Hi Cancer, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your singles love reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please do give this video a thumbs up. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and thank you so much for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. All right, this came out as your main energy during your pre-shuffle, all right? So the strength card is your main energy for this reading. Okay, and then you have the five of swords, the tower, and then you have the ten of swords and then the knight of swords, all right? You have the Nine of Wands, the Devil card, and then the Hierophant. I love the energy, actually. You may see it as, well, you have the Tower and, the de and then the Devil, and you're, you know, you're about to log off, but no, it's actually a really good energy that I'm getting. All right, your main energy for this reading, Cancer, is the Strength card. You've been trying to keep yourself uh, afloat, all right? You're really trying to keep yourself aflo afloat in the last few months. You've been trying to show a lot of strength. You've been trying to hold on, all right? You're trying to be strong or look like you are strong. But deep, in, deep down inside, you're very compassionate. You feel all the feelings that you need to feel, especially that heartbreak that you have gone through right in the middle of 2021, I'm getting. Right in the middle of 2021 to the end of 2021, it was you who was really pushing through. Through a heartbreak, through healing, you were really going through that process. And now the struggle is over, all right? The struggle is over. You have the Five of Swords and the Nine of Wands. As I said, you were trying to survive 2021. You had a lot of negative thoughts uh, that you had to really let go of, that you really learned to unlearn. You tried to learn to unlearn the way of thinking negatively. You were unlearning it. You were trying to be nice to yourself. You were trying to be good to yourself you were very you were really struggling especially right around the third quarter of 2021 you were really struggling i can feel that very clearly um you were heavily wounded by someone who wasn't um so honest with you this was someone who deceived you that well i'm getting i'm picking up seven of swords energy someone who manipulated you someone who took a lot of ego all right had a lot of ego and they just left i'm getting it was a very bad heart it was a very bad bad breakup for you and it made you question the intentions of everyone around you also it made you question yourself were you are you really fit to be with someone are you really um enough for someone this person heavily wounded you this person really made you feel that you are not enough and that was what you were going through in the last uh six months you were letting go of heart you were letting go you were um healing from that from that situation and you're really trying to build up your confidence again that's 
the energy that I was picking up on. And then you have the tower card and then the devil card. I'm getting there is an enlightenment. There was an enlightenment. In the last three weeks or by the end of December, you started to realize that there's nothing to fear of. You have to let go of things that crumbled. Why? Because it just meant, you just realized that it just meant it, it didn't have any solid foundations. It crumbled because it needed to, because it wasn't meant to be permanent in your life. So you're facing your fear. You faced your fear, actually. You faced your fear of letting go, of you, your, of your thoughts of being alone. Well, you know what, Cancer? You are too emotional. You are too giving. You are too precious to be alone. And the universe has someone in store for you. I know. You've let go. You have the Ten of Wands to the Knight of Swords and then the Hierophant. You've let go of a very, very painful cycle. It was very painful. Um... Spirit is just highlighting the needles that are being stabbed. I'm getting what I do think that's a little bit too much, but I do think you've gone through a lot of stabbing from people. Hopefully not literally, you know, but you've gone through a lot of backstabbing from a lot of people. People have, have hurt you in so many ways, in so many ways possible. I cannot even imagine how you endured that much that's why you have the strength card you endured a lot cancer and yes the struggle is over you have the knight of swords this is someone who's very open to you this is someone who is taking taking action very quickly this is someone who wants to offer you a higher form of commitment and the traditional kind so uh one regard if we're talking about the hierophant it's about traditions it's about um um yeah traditions boxed up ide uh, ideologies so more on marriage and um engagements and higher form of commitments so this person that's coming towards you cancer this is someone who will tell you who has a that they are really planning to see it forward with you they're really planning a future with you. I'm really getting that. I usually don't pick up on that energy, but I'm seeing that very clearly. They're forging their way forward. This is someone you will be meeting. I'm getting around the middle to the end of January, if you haven't met them. This person will be telling you how much they, felt for, they fell for you. This is someone very on point, very, very transparent with what they feel. And they really communicate to you. This is someone who won't hide their feelings. Alright? It's actually a really good reading, see? What is the overall outcome? The Two of Cups, the Three of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles. All right. I'm not picking up on third party energy, all right? If that's what you're trying to ask. You have the Two of Cups, the Three of Wands, and then the Three of Pentacles. This person who's coming towards you might be in another part of a planet, of the planet, um, maybe in another country, another city. This is someone who needs to travel to come towards you, all right? This is someone who wants to really build um, solid foundations with you. Unlike the last one where your foundations crumbled, this one won't. Because they will build solid. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I want to sneeze. 
This is someone who wants to build solid foundations with you, alright? Also, this is someone who really wants to plan with you, wants to expand with you, wants to actually travel the world with you, if even that's possible right now. They really want to travel with you. And yes, Two of Cups, soulmate energy. And I love that energy for you, Cancer. This is something that you really deserve. All right? What is the advice? The advice for you is the Ten of Cups and then the Four of Wands. I love it. Spirit is reminding you, all right? Spirit is reminding you that you just have to stay patient. There is someone meant for you. You just have to be patient. There will be a very emotional, fulfilling relationship coming towards you and it really is a higher form of commitment, Cancer. You have the Four of Wands. This is my Halfway to Marriage card. You have the Hierophant. That is also a marriage card or a higher form of commitment card. And you have the Ten of Cups. You have the Two of Cups. What more can you want? I love this reading for you, Cancer. I love this reading for you. Let's see. Other messages for my, for my Cancerians, please. All right. You have Gateway. A gateway will be opening for you. All right? You have the unicorn there. Unicorns symbolizes breakthroughs. There is a breakthrough coming towards you. And I'm very, very, very excited for you, Cancer. You have no idea how much I'm smiling right now. Because I do feel that this is something that you well deserve. You have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So just have faith, Cancer. Also the Hierophant card. It's about trusting what the universe has in store for you. So that's all I have for you, Cancer. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please do give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. If you want to claim this reading, go ahead and write it down below. I claim this reading. I am certain it is mine. I love you all and stay blessed.